What's up, y'all? Alvin here, and today we're doing What's in My Go Box version 2, the Saltwater Edition. <laughs> I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right then, uh, I did another video on what's in my go box and it was all my bass stuff. I'll link that video right here. Go check that one out. Um, so another little thing you might notice is I've got this uh, Yeti cup holder attached to the front of the go box. And I, I actually made a video about that as well. <laughs> I'll link that right there as well. I'll, I'll put all these uh, links in the description as well. Anyhow, so I've got two go boxes and that is because it's a lot easier to just put all your gear in one place and leave it and not have to worry about when you're switching back and forth like, oh, did I put those clippers in the box? Uh-oh, I'm out on the water. I don't have my clippers because they're in my bass box. Anyway, I'm lucky. I got two. All right, so what's inside? All right, so the first thing that's in there that doesn't stay in there, obviously, is my GPS unit. Uh, I just put that in there at the end of the day for safekeeping, uh, and usually I pull it out and stick it in the boat. When we're done, I wipe it down, put it back in the go box. Keeps the prying eyes away, and also keeps it in good shape. Next thing you'll notice is I actually have a little microfiber cloth. I use that to wipe down the GPS unit. And if I need to wipe down my glasses, I don't have a glass cleaning cloth handy. This works pretty well. Okay, next thing is I've got a pair of these really nice Gerber saltwater resistant pliers. Just started working with these guys recently and uh, I really like these things. I've only been able to use them a few times, but so far, so good. I usually keep those either in the box or I'll have them somewhere handy in the boat. Good for smashing barbs or fish gets a hook down deep, I can reach in there and grab them. Okay, next thing is my fly box. This has got all my saltwater flies in it. <laughs> And yes, I did make a video about this as well. And I'll link that right there, as well as down in the description. Okay, going a little deeper. I've got another smaller box. These are some of my kind of like, if the fish are not eaten, I can bust this box out. Uh, this is kind of my last ditch effort box right here. And glasses, and you'll notice I've got three different pairs of polarized glasses. So one is my uh, regular sunny day glasses. Then I've also got a pair of cloudy day glasses. And then I've got another pair of kind of just all arounders. I'll leave those in there in case one of my clients forgets their glasses. <laughs> uh, snacks, you gotta have snacks. Typically, I don't stop for lunch unless my clients want to. So, you know, I'll grab something quick to eat and then I can keep on pushing. All right, tip it, lots of tip it. So basically I've got enough stuff to completely build leaders from scratch. So starting with uh, 60 pound, 40 pound, 35 and 20. Then I've also got some smaller spools of tippet, you know, these guys down to uh, 12 pound, some more heavy tippet. Lighter, just in case you never know when you need to start a fire. I'm not a smoker, but you know, it's always good to have a lighter on hand. Old man glasses. <laughs> Need those sometimes, not as much as with the small trout and bass flies, but occasionally I'll need them. Um, a spool of lead wire. Now this stuff can be really handy if you just need to get your fly down just a little bit deeper. I can put a few wraps of this right around the eye of the hook and make the fly sink a little bit faster. 
earplugs. I usually wear headphones when I'm running the boat, uh, day after day, uh, hour after hour. That all adds up, and I don't want to be going, huh? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> when I get to be an old dude, so I usually try to protect my ears. Um, it's another nice little tool from Gerber. This is a retractor with the belt clip on it and nippers. A lot of times I'll just grab those at the beginning of the day, stick them on my belt, and I'm good to go. I don't have to reach back in the box looking for them. Another little multi-tool knife. I mean, you just can never have too many tools. You never know what you're gonna need to take apart or put it back together. All right, going a little bit deeper here. Um, we has got an extra neck gear in case I forget to put mine on. I usually put it on first thing in the morning, but occasionally I'll make it out to the boat without one. So I've got an extra one there. Um, extra pair of gloves. I like to wear gloves for sun protection as well. I'm really bad about putting sunscreen on, but if I've got gloves, then I don't have to worry about it. This is where I usually keep, uh, you know, stuff that I don't need immediately every day, like a headlamp. You know, occasionally you'll get caught out after dark or be out before the sun comes up and it's nice to have a headlamp. Um, camera gear. This is not my camera, but this is similar to my camera. My camera's right there. <laughs> but anyway, camera, uh, a lot of times I'll like to have an extra lens. I mean, I got plenty of room in the box, so why not? Um, a little mini tripod with the cell phone holder. These are nice. If you want to get a little selfie, you can set that thing up, hit the timer, and get a picture of everybody together on the boat. More cameras. This is a little DJI pocket gimbal camera. Comes in handy. Um, another tool. This is a Gerber multi-tool. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Stay tuned. But once again, you can never have too many tools in the boat. And that is it for the main part of the box. Now, this thing has all kinds of compartments. So in here, I have more liters. So not only do I have everything I need to hand tie my liters, but I've actually got tapered liters, big stack of them, ready to go. All right, on this side, over in the top compartment. Same thing I usually have in the top compartment uh, is, uh, what's that? Oh, that is instructions for my radio, which I did not pull out earlier, but I always gotta have a radio, VHF, in case uh, the boat dies, you get lost, storm rolls in, fog rolls in, GPS is not working. <laughs> now this one actually has a, a locator function on it, the little red deal. You flip that up, you hit that, and it will send your location to your chosen contacts. Um, the nice thing about the radio though is uh, sometimes we'll be out doing like a multi-boat trip, you know, me and one or two other guides, and we want to kind of stay in touch. You know, what time are you heading back? Oh, you on some fish, where are you? <laughs> that kind of stuff. So radio, handheld is, is really nice as well. Um, I know some people have them mounted in the boat, but I like the ability to use it in different boats. And, you know, God forbid you end up overboard. Um, the go box will float and the radio's in there. It's waterproof, it floats. So all I got to do is grab that and call for help. Haven't ever had to do that, but it's there just in case. All right, so moving along on the other zipper compartment. Uh, just more kind of paperwork and stuff. Got my uh, Merchant Mariner credential in case I get checked. I keep my fishing license actually in my wallet uh, because once again, I use the fishing license um, for freshwater as well. So got to have it on me all the time. But this pretty much just stays in this go box because this is what I need it when I'm on the salt. Uh, more liters. Uh, Stickers, always gotta have a stack of stickers. People love stickers, so I've got them there handy. Yeah. Oh, this is this is actually the a copy of my fishing license. So if for some reason I 
can't find my wallet. <laughs> I've got my fishing license and my Merchant Mariner credentials right there. Good to go. Well, my guide license. Lots of stuff in the old box. All right, y'all, thanks for watching that. Please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate the video, as usual, two thumbs down. <laughs> uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, maybe hit the notification bell so you'll know next time I post a video, I'm trying to post them up weekly. If you have any ideas or any questions, please throw them in the comments. And as always, good luck on the water.